We all know cats and rats don't see eye to eye. Put the two together and it's almost always the rat that comes off second best. Turns out part of the reason for that might be that the rat's brain has been overtaken by aliens. In fact, the same sort of mind control might be possible with you and me as well. Dr. Jonathan Newby explains. Who's in charge here? Is it the cat? Is it the rat? Or is it something else entirely? As a vet, I've been fascinated by the discovery that there's this tiny parasite capable of taking over this rat's brain. And it makes you wonder, could it also be influencing the behaviour of humans? Are we all subject to alien mind control? And here's the evidence. Alien bugs ready to be implanted in a brain. So what are these little wrigglies? These are the Toxoplasma tachyzoics, which is the infective stage of the parasite. So then they can travel throughout your body, um, predominantly to your brain, where they form cysts. And um, that's where they live for the rest of your life. The rest of your life? Yep. So you're saying these could be in my brain? Yes, well, quite possibly if you've ever owned cats or eaten undercooked meat. Um, 30 to 40 percent of the human population is infected with this parasite. We've known about the strange life cycle of Toxoplasma for some time. In its juvenile stage, it invades and develops inside the muscle or brain of any mammal or bird. To reach its adult stage, it then needs to be eaten by a cat. But what nobody realised is that the little parasite was playing an active part until, in 2000, scientists in England stumbled on something amazing. Well, to demonstrate what was discovered, I've organised the assistance of a stunt rat and a stunt cat. Now, this is actually my cat and he has no teeth and arthritis, so I think he's probably pretty safe. But just in case, let's pop him in this cage. Normally, rats are innately terrified of cats, but when rats were infected with Toxoplasma, amazingly, they seemed to lose all fear of cats. In fact, they seemed perversely attracted to them. They'd been turned into suicide rats. The suicide rats and, you know, the mind control and sort of basically it's a bit like the X-Files, you know, that these things can live in your brain and dictate how you behave. So had they lost all fear, or only the fear of their mortal enemy? What was going on? Earlier this year in sunny California, scientists in Stanford went looking for the answer. In this experiment, a small piece of cat collar is placed in a clip. This is a normal rat. Look how he reacts to cat odour. But this is how infected rats behave. When the scientists then looked inside the rat's brain, it turned out Toxoplasma had preferentially set up home in the amygdala, the brain's main fear centre. More incredibly, the rats didn't lose their fear of other things like electric shocks, nor their sense of smell. It blows me away to be so precise in targeting the area in the brain that will make a rat less fearful of a cat. It's just, it's just phenomenal. I mean, how clever is that? To not then affect other behaviours that are going to affect the general rodent's well-being because they don't want the host to die unless it's eaten by a cat. It begs the question, can they do the same in humans? Nearly half of us are hosting these things and we've just found out they're not as quiet in there as we thought. And every now and again, it's believed that the parasites actually do liberate from their cysts and wriggle around in your brain for a little while before they go back into cysts. It's a bit freaky, isn't it? It's very freaky. <laughs> yeah. One research team in Europe has found toxoplasma-infected women are more likely to be promiscuous. Um, there have been studies as well that have shown that you're more likely to be involved in a car accident, either as a pedestrian or a driver of a vehicle. Uh, two, two and a half times more likely to be involved if you've got the parasite. Well, the findings come from just one research group and the rules of science say that results need to be replicated. So when it comes to the effects of toxoplasma on human behaviour, we'll just keep an open mind for now. 
So the moral is, read up on hygiene and make sure you follow all the recommendations for avoiding parasitic infections. Though let's face it, if you really want to know about parasites that control human behaviour, you don't have to look much further than this. Do you, little parasite? <laughs>